Well, the sun came out, and guess what? I'm going to take a look at these solar panels from Gigaparts, which you can save a 5% discount on with the coupon code of KC5HWB at my page on the Gigaparts website, which I will link below. Let's take a look and see how they differ. I've had all three of these panels for a month, maybe a couple of months now. I don't remember exactly when I got them. It was shortly after they came out, right about the time they were posted on the Gigaparts website. And there's three versions, the 60 watt, the 150 watt, and the 300 watt. The problem with the 300 watt is that you have to have a charge controller that'll handle 300 watts, which at the time when I got these panels, I didn't have. I've remedied that problem now. We're gonna talk about that today. But my favorite one so far is actually this 150 watt. I've got this 150 watt, the sun is right there. So this is just sitting on top of the truck right now. It's folded out, you can see how it is right there. Most of the time with a panel like this, you're not gonna have it optimally pointed at the sun at all times of the day, because guess what? In order to do that, you'd have to constantly keep moving it. So most of the time people in the Overland show, they lay these on top of their vehicles, maybe on their hood, maybe on the ground if it's pointed, you know, if, if the sun's directly overhead, something like that. So this is, this is doing a good 6.1 amps right now with being plugged into my battery, my backup battery system in the truck, which I'll show you here in a minute. So what I wanna do is plug in all three and see how they differ. So in the current sunlight, this one's doing 6.1 amps. I have had up to seven and a half amps on this solar panel before. In fact, when the sun, about an hour from now, when the sun's a little bit more directly overhead, it's actually gonna be a little bit that way. I'll probably get a little bit better of um, solar power coming into the panel because the sun just now came over the peak of the roof of the house and it's finally getting direct sunlight except for that little panel over there. But again, you're not gonna have a, a panel like this, you're not gonna have up set up optimally all day long while the sun is out unless you just keep constantly moving it and have a, a panel or a, like some sort of stand for it where you can point it at the perfect angle towards the sun. Most people aren't gonna do that. Most people are just gonna lay it out like I've got it. So let's see what uh, the, uh, the readings on the other two panels have in this same battery setup. This is my Renogy 200 amp hour LifePo4 battery, and I have the Wanderer charge controller on it. Now, I will link this in the description below. This I bought on Amazon. This, let me cover that up. This battery was sent to me by Renogy. I purchased one of their 100 amp hour batteries. I really liked it. I did a video about it and I sent that to them and they're like, hey, let us send you some more stuff. And this is one of the things they sent me. So this has been a really good battery. I've had it in the truck for about a month now as my backup system that goes into my rig runner down there and it's powering my radios and it's powering my 12 volt refrigerator from Snowmaster right now. And it'll run for several days. Of course, the weather outside is not hot right now. So the refrigerator is not running all the time, but in this Wanderer solar charge controller is where we've got the panel plugged in. The 150 watt panel and the 60 watt panel both come with power poles on it. Now they've got a couple other adapters for them that you can use if you want. But that's the plug going directly to the panel on top of the roof right now. The 300 watt panel comes with only MC4 connectors. It doesn't have power poles on it like the 60 and 150 watt do. So I'm gonna use this adapter with the MC4 to power poles to power it up here in a second. But the Wanderer solar charge controller that I just showed you will handle up to 400 watts. Unlike, I, I, I would much, much rather use my Buddy Pole Power Mini 2, but it is limited to 160 watts only. I can't use a 300 watt panel on that charge controller, which is why I'm not showing it today. Okay, so this is the 60 watt panel, which you can see it's just four panels. This one folds in on itself like that, and then it's uh, five panels long, but doubled. This one's just sim four simple panels right there. And you can see I plugged it up, and I could move it a little bit if I wanted to, but I plugged it up and I'm getting about 2.6 amps out of it right now. So it's a little bit less than half of the optimal wattage, which is 60 watts. And it's uh, almost one third of the input right now that it's gathering from the sun. All of the other information you see on the screen right now is what the solar charge controller has done since I powered it up. All I did was unplug the 150 watt and plug in the 60 watt. So pay attention only to the 2.61 amp number on this screen right here. But that's the 60 watt as compared to the 150 watt. I like the 150 watt better because it's 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 a little bit heavier, but when it folds up, it's not that much larger than the 60 watt. And I've gotten to the point in all of my travels at, at the hunting lease on POTA, 
on camping and everything. If I don't have a panel that's at least 100 watts, generally speaking, I'm not interested. I, I am, I'll let you know a little secret here. I'm holding these panels hostage from Gigaparts. They sent them to me and I haven't sent them back yet. Don't, don't tell them that I still have them. They emailed me about them uh, just the other day. They're like, hey, are you done with those panels? And I'm like, no, I'm never gonna be done with them. I'm keeping them, send me a bill. So that's what they're gonna do. Although I'm gonna send the 60 watt back because like I said, I don't really care for 40, 60, 80 watt panels. I just don't find the need for them. If you're backpacking, then sure, sure, something like that. But I've got a 40 watt Bioeno that I use for backpacking. This 60 watt panel, I just wouldn't find any use for, so I'm not gonna use it. But I think it's doing pretty well for what it's doing right now. Uh, the 150 watt is going to be, be my go-to panel from this point forward. As I said earlier, these panels are available on my Gigaparts page, hr2.li forward slash gigaparts. And the coupon code of KC5HWB will get you a 5% discount on this and everything else on this page, including Mezzi and Plomi Coax. Mezzi and Plomi Coax is the sponsor of today's video. You can find some of the best and highest quality coax for the amateur radio market today on this page, connectors, adapters, coax of various different sizes. Check out the link in the description below and remember the code of KC5HWB to save 5%. All right, we got that set up now. It's also five panels long and two panels deep, but these panels, these squares are a little bit bigger than the 150 watts. So this thing's obviously heavier. It's more, it's it's larger when it's uh, folded out. It's larger when it's folded up. This is going to be for your overlanding crowd and for your RV campers not to put in a backpack, obviously. The orange color is nice because people can really see it and they won't walk over it if you have it sitting on the ground or something. But as you can see right now, 12.8 amps wow that is okay so 300 is twice of 150 and i was getting 6.1 on the 150 when i'm getting 12.8 which is more than twice 6.6.1 .6 times 2 is 12.2 i'm getting 12.8 amps on this panel right now well guess what folding that flap out which the wind keeps blowing it and knocking it over on itself covered up one of the panels so covering up one of the panels didn't didn't kill the whole thing i was getting 12.83 amps on two, four, six, eight, nine of, <laughs> I had to count, on nine of the panels, I uncovered the 10th panel and it jumps up to 14 amps. 14 amps, same sun situation, so more efficient than the 150 watt panel. This thing is nice, 14.2 volts, 14 amps coming in right now. It's gonna charge my battery in only six hours, which we don't really have six hours of daylight left today, but it's gonna get a lot more charge into it with this than it would with the other one. So very happy with the 300 watt panel. I was already happy with the 150 watt panel. So I'm twice as happy, more than twice as happy with the 300 watt panel. So really good solar panels from Gigaparts, competitors to PowerFilm. Now, is PowerFilm gonna be better? Yes, PowerFilms are made in the USA. These are not made in the USA, but unless you're using your solar panel and going hiking every day, the cost justification of these compared to power film is probably not there, but you decide for yourself. But I've been very happy with them because they do exact, they're lightweight. They fold up, the 300 watt is not really lightweight, but it folds up to a compact size well enough where I can put it behind the seat in the truck. I can take it in the RV, it's not a big deal. So it works well for that type of situation. Put a comment below, let me know what you think.